Hey, how's it going everybody? It's the beat making cow. You want to learn how to make lo-fi? Let's get started. So the first thing you want to focus on when it comes to making a lo-fi beat is the sound selection. The sound selection should be very ambient, very smooth, very non-offensive. Think ambient pianos, lush strings, smooth synth pads. So for this track, I picked a piano sample. Notice the vinyl distortion in the background. In a normal situation, you'd want to EQ those out, but the objective of lo-fi is to not make your track sound overly polished, but to create a relaxing, almost ASMR experience. And that vinyl record sound adds to low-res ambience. Let's go on to the drums. It's a very standard lo-fi beat. You notice that the kicks are very spread apart. At most, I'll add a kick right before the next bar to kind of add a stuttering effect. Almost none of it's quantized, almost all of it was live. Again, to add that laid back loose feel. Add some ambient kind of low res claps for a little bit of variation. So now let's hear it with the hats. has a bit of that swing because it's not quantized and that I feel is like essential when it comes to lo-fi beats. The bass very straightforward just follows the root notes of the chord and piano. And last but not least, I decided to add a synthesizer because I felt like it was missing a little bit of that warmth in the foundation of the track. Just something to consider if you want to add some variation to your loop based beats. So let's check out everything all together. Alright guys, if you made it to this point in the video, comment lo-fi cow so I know who made it this far. I believe the main takeaways are the importance of sound selection, simplicity is key, and don't quantize. Because the beauty of human error is what I think makes lo-fi so special. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my content or watch one of the videos right over here. Happy beat making, and I'll see you guys next time. Moo moo out.